Now today I'm joined again with the gorgeous, stunning, fabulous, absolutely amazing Vanity Von Glow. Like systematic child abuse, I think once isn't enough. And so I'm back. <laughs> and I'm so happy to have you. Would you rather shit on someone or have someone shit on you? Oh, well, I find that like um, any member of a ruling class should, I take a great deal of pride in shitting on other people, so I'd be happier doing that. <laughs> I don't think I'd rather do anything. You're the kind of person that sits in the house all day watching Jeremy Kyle, aren't you? No, I don't! No, I'm on Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> My boyfriend shat on me when we slept. <laughs> well, goodness. Imagine waking up to that. <laughs> Bacon I mean, and eggs from <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Would you rather have sex with someone who has incredibly bad BO or really bad breath? <sighs> you can avoid their bad breath, can't you, by going down to other areas? Yeah, but I'm, the way I say it is if they're happy to let being like grotesque here, what's all that way you can't see? Like, people don't wash their hair. If they're happy to see the greasy locks, like, what's it like when you don't see? What's, what's it down there, down there, you know what I'm saying? That's why I condition my feminine area. Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm not talking to anyone until they all wash. Oh, <laughs> would you rather drink a litre of piss or a litre of sweat? I have drunk a litre of piss. Like, I mean, over my lifetime, I have probably drunk at least a litre. How? Like, just. How? Oh, that's obviously what our vanity's into. Hashtag liquidophilia. Sometimes the shops are just too far away for some fresh orange. No! <laughs> it's true! <laughs> Vitamin P! <laughs> be the recipient of a bukkake party or be one of the people doing it. Oh, I think bukkake is the ultimate way to be centre of attention. I think I'd quite like to lie back and let the fellows get to work. I'd rather be the one doing it to some point. Oh, well, if you get a group of your friends over. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag cheese night. You see, Roland in this household are having a cheese night tomorrow, which they've cordially invited to me to, and of course, I don't generally come to social events where there's a likelihood of me having to speak to anyone. Would you rather drink a cup of your mum's period blood or your dad's sperm? My dad's sperm, if I have to choose, and here's why. It's meant to be swallowed. No. <laughs> Must you introduce <laughs> strange incestuous themes into these questions? This isn't a game I should be playing in a public forum, is it? No, it isn't. I have no. a reputation to uphold. I'm a role model for young people. Would you rather give birth pain free through your mouth or painfully through your vagina? <laughs> Well, now this, the real question is, would you like your mouth to be expanded or your child to be shrunk? <laughs> Although I think that it'd be quite useful to have a sort of pygmy, wouldn't it? I'd quite like to have a pocket child. A pocket child? Yeah, instead of one, you know, like, like a troll doll. <laughs> In fact, you wouldn't need to buy any toys because it would be one. <laughs> would you rather have a genital bisection or a genital beading? What's a bisection? Okay, so this genital bisection is where basically the head of your penis gets cut in half. Like from the top, so it's like a, like a split tongue, but it's like a split and then your penis is it. Well, it's at times like this that as a woman, I'm glad I can abstain. <laughs> I feel like we're in um, marriage counselling. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so, tell us your problems. He went bottom. Would you rather lose your sex organs forever or gain 200 pounds forever? I would rather lose my sex organs because I find that sex is really just the height of unnecessary. And the thing is that if I were really fat, that, it would totally strip me of my ability to abuse other people for their terrible appearance. <laughs> so you I've, I've found it in my whole life through the many hardships I have experienced, as I'm sure you all have too, viewers. I found that the ability to make fun of other people has been a comfort when I've been feeling low. It helps, doesn't it, to bring others down. It does, I mean, yes, what can I say? Yes. Body shaming. Would you rather have sex with your cousin in secret or not have sex with your cousin and everyone thinks you did? Do you know what? If people are going to go around saying I've had sex, then I would like to have at least had some. No. <laughs> How frustrating it must be for those wrongfully accused of sex with people like cheatations and, mm. and sleeping outside the marriage and then they didn't. I'm like, well, because you got to carry the burden, but you didn't even get to do an O face. Exactly. No, no face. I've never heard it called that before. Oh. I've seen some boys whose bottoms can do an O face. Oh, that's the noise they make as the wind rattles up and in. Would you rather peel off your nails or pull your teeth out? Pulling your teeth out is apparently linked to anxiety. Well, mm -hmm. if people have too much ketamine, like sometimes they get really confused about what these fucking things are in their mouth and get really anxious. So they think, do you know what? Safer just to take them out. They take their teeth out with pliers. Yeah, so the moral of this story, kids, is don't do drugs. The moral of this story is don't take your teeth out. No. 
<laughs> Would you rather be an ugly genius or a hot moron? So you're asking me to give up one or the other. Yeah. I find that knowing too much can be quite unhelpful. For example, if you know how to drive, people ask you to drive everywhere. No, that's very true. That's why I never learned. If you know how to make a nuclear bomb, suddenly the pressure's on to beat the Russians and blow up Japan. So, I personally feel like I'd rather be a, 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 a radiant, untouchable beauty who can spell. And we have quite an exciting uh, thing because Vanity has now eventually, yes, beard, made a YouTube channel, haven't you? I've made it all by myself. Yes, beard. <laughs> So, we are going to be making a video over Vanity's channel now. We're going to do Guess the Fetish because you know how much I love doing that. Click on Vanity's face now or there will be a link right at the top of the description for you to go watch that video. Please hit the like button because that's really helping me out and share with your friends with the good kind of stuff. How disrespectful and rude to ruin the last bit of the video. Remember that time when I was like, when I got your fist and I was like, Roland, Roland, look! And I was like, because I could get his entire fist in my hole.